Come on in, Mary. Right on time as usual. Let me just put my uh, cell phone on call forwarding so we don't get interrupted. Okay? Great. So let's get to it. Uh, thanks for getting the forms to me and for doing such a thorough and thoughtful job. This is great. Well, I tried to be as complete as possible because I was really looking forward to this meeting. Well, I, I really look forward to it as well. I mean, I think it's very important to uh, talk through the entire uh, performance appraisal. Um, overall, I think you're doing a great job and I'm very pleased with your progress. Uh, the high points of your operational results were in getting the numbers of unread meters over four months down and the numbers of meters read on time up. I think that's great. Oh, thanks. You know, I'm really proud. I pushed my staff hard and I'm pleased with the way they responded. Well, you know, you have tried to champion change. Uh, the trouble is sometimes you get out ahead of your staff and you push them before they realize the value of the particular change. It may be helpful in circumstances like the regrouping and rerouting initiative to take a little more time and, and do some focus groups with the meter readers and um, hear their concerns a little bit more. We didn't have time for that kind of thing. I mean, you know as well as I do, we had to turn it around very quickly. Mm -hmm. Besides, I think it's my job to lead. I mean, not wait for my staff to come around. It is the supervisor's job to lead, but it is also very important to listen. That's a crucial skill which we can help you develop over the next year or so. Let's, um, let's move to a couple of areas that require more work so we can get some better results. The first being safety. You had twice as many OSHA recordables as Target. Why was that? I know. I know. I mean, you told me about that before, and I regret those results. Mm -hmm. But we did fine last year. We're going to do fine next year. I mean, I think those kind of things are cyclical. Actually, it's not. Safety responds to management focus. I think you assumed, because you did well last year, that you would do well again this year. But that's not the way things work. You need to mention safety at every meeting so that it becomes a focus of you and your staff. I talk about safety ad nauseum. I mean, if you want me to talk more about safety, I'll talk more about safety. Well, I think that would be a good idea. The other issue is error rate. Uh, for the first three quarters, you were well below target. And even though you were at target or actually higher in Q4, I look at the year as a whole, and you were well below target. What happened there? And more importantly, how can we keep everything at target or steadily improving all year long? Well, my quarterly report shows that we had a lot of turnover. Mm -hmm. And then I had a hard time getting summer replacements right. and getting the training for them. Mm -hmm. But if you will look, I worked very hard in the fourth quarter, and I, and I turned a, a lot of that around, and it all paid off. I mean, it's going to stay that way. I mean, trust me. I don't think turnover and training were the only reasons, Mary. Other districts had similar problems, but they had better results consistently. I think, again, it had to do with lack of focus. All parts of the scorecard are very important, and you need to keep them on balance all year long. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to drop the ball in Q3 and then push really hard in Q4. I don't know why you are focusing so much on these two negative areas, which will be fixed instead of spending a little bit more time on all the areas that, that the numbers have been on target are better. Mary, you seem to be, uh, do you want us to continue this discussion here? Because you seem to be getting angry and we can do this at another no, time. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go on. All right. Um, I'm talking about these two areas in particular because I want all of your areas to be at or above target. And I know you can do that with a little bit more hard work and some focus. And while we're pausing here, I want you to understand, I think you're a satisfactory employee. I mean, this is not a negative appraisal. Well, it feels like one to me. You said you want to go on. So unless you want to break, we'll, OK. Let's, uh, let's shift gears here. Let's take a look at your development plan, OK?